Welcome, Hello, everyone. Alpha. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the debut edition of Alpha Games, a new Whale FM streaming series partnership with the blockchain gaming powerhouse Gala Games. We will be sharing Alpha, giving exclusive access, giveaways, first looks, and direct interaction with the leadership and development teams as they continue to flesh out their amazing games and universes. Today, we are joined by Eric Shearmeyer, CEO, and Jason Bitbender Brink, CMO of Gala Games. Gentlemen, so happy to have you here with us today. Wonderful to be here today. Thank you very much, Nightmare. Glad to be here, guys. Excited to get in the game and start playing, too. Definitely, definitely. We've seen a huge influx from people uh, coming over looking to get a sneak peek at what you guys have brewing for a new reveal today. Um, but before we get into that, we'd just love to ground everyone here at Whale that may not be familiar with Gala Games on what exactly you guys are and what you do. Sure. So, <clears throat> and please feel free to jump in at any point in time if you want to, Eric. But at Gala Games, we believe that players should have absolute ownership of their in-game assets. Uh, we were founded by Eric here. Uh, who is the one of the co-founders of Zynga and, you know, has a long history in gaming. A lot of the people in the top levels of our company come from uh, sort of gaming giants. And all of us came together and we believe that uh, gaming should be done differently. And blockchain is the way to do that. Uh, rather than saying that we're a blockchain gaming company, we're a gaming company that uses blockchain as an essential portion of our tech stack. And we make real, actual games. And uh, today we're going to be showing you uh, something that's been produced by one of our partners, Game Media. They're on the Gala Games platform, and it is uh, Spider Tanks. And we have an exclusive uh, Spider Tanks build just for uh, just for the whale community. And um, something's a little fishy about it. You'll have to see. <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, for those that are tuning in from the Gala Games community, here at Whale, we were a, a social community, a social token, so to speak, on the blockchain relative to NFT and the you know crypto art and uh, NFT ecosystem. We hold the Whale Vault, which is one of the most prolific and valuable collection of NFT assets in the world, um, curated by our founder, Whale Shark, who was an early adopter and was able to accumulate some of the absolute blue chip assets and artist uh, in the NFT space. So we're fortunate to have that. And to coincide with that, we have a community that's robust with artists, collectors, enthusiasts, people that are just interested in social tokens. And together, that kind of potent mix, we share a lot of alpha, we work together on projects, and you know we move the space forward. So it's a great place to learn, to get involved, and have um, your, your finger on the pulse of all things NFTs and social tokens. And with that, you know, it made it made perfect sense for us to partner with you guys to kind of bring um, the amazing things you are doing forward to the greater NFT space and make sure there's a lot of awareness uh, with that. Uh, we have a lot of enthusiasts within our community for gaming already. And of course, there's a lot of just, um, you know, there's a lot of synergies between our communities. So excited to start this today with the Spider Tank stream. We're excited as well. I think, um, you know, you touched on your your kind of company focus being gaming and gameplay and, and, and not so much blockchain. And I think that's important to people because a lot of the discussion within our community relative to blockchain games is, hey, they have these great tokenomics or mechanisms to drive play to earn stuff. But where's the fun? Wouldn't right? it be like, great if they were fun? Right. Where's and the fun aspect? Yeah, no, we, we, we believe that that gaming is at its very nature supposed to be something that's fun. Um, if it's not fun, you're doing it wrong. And gaming also, even if it, even if there are built-in play to earn mechanisms and amazing tokenomics and things like that, which are all things that we have, uh, if it feels like a job, it's not a game. Games you know what, you know, like you know what I think is really interesting about this that, that I think really kind of inspired me to start the company is the realization that play to earn has been around for a very long time. People were play to earning on EverQuest or, you know, uh, obviously World of Warcraft is well known uh, play to earn type of game. And I think that what people don't realize is that there's, you know, it, two years ago, it was a $50 billion a year secondary market for uh, in-game assets that 
are relatively illiquid if you think about it, right? You have to sell your your Fortnite account in order to, to sell your account. And even then you're you're doing a TOS violation. You might lose everything. You're you're probably buying it from a hacker. So it's 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 already an a, ma a massive, massive, massive um, marketplace. And by making it frictionless or less frictionless anyway, um, and more secure with the blockchain, it's it's going to explode, guys. It's going to be several hundred billion dollars a year. And I mean, we're already seeing the signs of it. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, my little brother, interestingly, uh, you know, over a decade ago, got in trouble with uh, my parents because he had used her credit card to buy a lot of gold in Warcraft, and then was selling things. Or he 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 already was ahead of the curve at that time. Um, I find it interesting. You know, you mentioned that this has already been here for quite some time. And just for perspective, you know, my lineage starts with games like Subspace and Diablo One and UO, right? So I was running around Ultima Online, you know, loving teasing, you know, trolling in the sandbox, right? So um, that's kind of my precedent. But, you know, people had been trying to sell and then running into, you know, having to go through black markets or, you know, there, there was a lot of um, difficulty in challenging doing it. And even when they tried to legitimize it, I think when Diablo 3 launched their auction house, their real money auction house, um, there was some blowback from the greater community and, you know, hey, what does this mean relative to the game? And I think since then, there's been a lot of refinement on the vehicles to do it, but more importantly, how to be able to do it and keep things equitable and fun for everyone. And so, you know, I saw some of the things that you guys do and you put a lot of um, focus on making sure what you provide to the community. There's opportunities for people to get in, whether they want to make big purchases or not, and still enjoy the game and have fun. Um, and, it, you know, the monetary aspect isn't the pure driver uh, from that play to earn perspective. So I think that's key. Um, and, and I'm happy that we partnered with a game company that can do that. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of different um, strategies at play uh, when you think about what's going on in the games industry today. It's it's a it's a two hundred billion dollar a year industry. It's it's bigger than movies and music combined. Um, and you know, if you look at if you look at trends in the United States or Europe or Asia, you'll see different ways of people monetizing their games. And I think what you saw in the United States with you know some of these games trying to to use the microtransaction model is that when you already spent sixty dollars just to have the game you're coming in with a, with a certain set of expectations uh whereas if you don't have to pay anything for the game then your expectations you know are wildly different but what we noticed at uh, you know with free-to-play games so-called free-to-play games anyway is that there are people out there that are willing to spend enormous sums of money on on their experience like game of war was well known for this that there were a handful of people around the world that were spending a million dollars a month yeah my my aforementioned aforementioned little brother was one of them that was <laughs> putting money into that as well um you're right we're just at the the precipice of what this and what do they own at the end, end? Right, like, what does he have now that that he's no longer playing that game? He's got nothing. Right? right, right. And that's that's the I think the the worst aspect of free to play. Like, it's you don't own anything at the end of the day. You might have spent fifty thousand dollars. I mean, I spent five thousand dollars on Game of War. I have I have nothing to show for it at all. Not just free to play either, but just any of the the classic gaming industry. It's only now that blockchain is able to change that. So. You know, That's it's right. inter it's interesting. Absolutely. A lot of times um, my focus was, you know, when I had an opportunity to play games, which isn't as much as I'd like nowadays, but, you know, I wanted to do something that would have some kind of residual effect. As much as I like games where I can hop in and hop out, something that I would have something tang tangibly my own afterwards, even within just the game, not being able to carry it forward and sell it, but just knowing that I could build something and upgrade it and have something that showed uh, the fruits of my labor um, to take that to the next level and have transference and be able to sell it or you know give it to you know whatever the mechanism is to be able to carry that forward beyond the game only adds that much interest and value for people. I think. Oh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't play games when I was playing games that didn't have some kind of progression built into it whether like like i i would i would only play um rts games that allowed me to have like veterans veterancy in my units because i wanted to feel like i was actually building something or 
investing in something. Yeah, uh, a couple of people had mentioned um, they were interested in knowing, you know, you talked about coming from a lot of gaming giants as far as your, your company coalescing. Um, what's some of the inspiration or favorite games of you guys? Ooh. <laughs> Go for it. Eric. Well, okay. I mean, there's. I mean, I'm, I've been a lifelong gamer, so I, I've been playing games since. Uh, gosh, you know, I could play on my um, Intellivision or on, you know, Commodore sixty four. Um, so I've, I've been I've been playing Muds. That's what my that would be my first like multiplayer uh, experience. Um, but definitely, you know, I think what what really inspired me was World of Warcraft. Um, the whole Warcraft, um, you know, licenses was was incredibly powerful to me personally. Yeah, no, I, I think that that's you know I remember playing the the original you know Warcraft and a lot of the the early RTSs and things like that, Command and Conquer. Uh, for me, the games that have have resonated the most deeply uh, were. On, on one hand, I think the one of the first games I ever played was uh, Zork, um, which I actually bought a copy of Zork 1 just the other day for sentimental value. Nice. Um, and uh, then also uh, Final Fantasy 7 specifically. You know, I think that that, that set the... Uh, set the bar for, for incredible stories and games for me. Absolutely. I remember it blew my mind that I had to have two CDs. Are you kidding me? Why do I need two? Uh, what a what a you know what a start um, for your inspiration there for for being one of your favorites. So thank you for sharing that. Um, before we jump into Spider Tank, I'd love if you could just touch really quickly because I know there's a lot of depth that you can go in. But you know, what are your titles and and where are each of them in the dev cycle? Well. Uh, so there's a, there's a few different things that we're working on. I mean, there's uh, Mirandus, which is uh, an MMORPG that's uh, in development right now. Um, it is a massively huge, complex undertaking. Um, so it is, it is moving forward nicely. It is going to take a while, but it is going to be absolutely epic. Uh, there's Townstar, which is currently live and playable right now. Uh, and you will, you can you know, see a lot of cool stuff. There's some really cool news coming on that soon. Um, there's uh, Echoes of Empire. Wait, which wait, is... you should, wait, wait, don't let's let's give a little detail on that because I, I think this is the appreciate. alpha. Are we going to do the alpha Al thing? Al they alpha want, they want alphas. They care about alpha. <laughs> they care about it. I'll let you do the alphas then, man. You are that you are the, the the leaker in chief. Leaker in chief. Yeah. Um, so look, we, we obviously have been paying attention to Axie. Um, and we've, we've felt like there's a, there's a number of improvements that we might be able to make, um, you know, on, on the innovations that they've, they've spearheaded. And so we've spent, we, we, we pivoted a good chunk of our company over the last month to coming up with our, um, I guess our best foot forward when it comes to play to earn. And that's coming quickly. So we're, we're close to being done there. Um, our view, as always, as Jason said earlier, is that it needs to be fun, right? That nobody wants to grind out, you know, 10 hours of some incredibly boring experience. Um, and so we're, we're really, really trying to, to make sure that we stay, you know, very on on target for that. Um, but I, what I can tell you though is that rarity is going to matter, and rarity is going to be based on the blockchain. So some of the most rare uh, NFTs that we have in the Gala ecosystem are our box, and you can see it with my background. Um, and so if you're if you're at all interested in What's going to be going on with uh, our town star play to earn? You you, you want to get the most rare NFTs um, that we have. Very 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 true. That wasn't as leaky as I thought it was going to be. I thought you were going yeah. to be leakier than that. Well, you should then you should you should leak something. I, I, Cry I cryptic, but some some reading between the lines possible. Go ahead, Jason. Definitely I have like some to reading between the lines. You do it. So, oh, you want me to leak now? Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's your turn, right. man. 
It's my turn to leak. Okay, so so pay special attention to uh, this. There's a couple things that are 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 coming. One, uh, you will very soon be able to uh, participate in a play to earn ecosystem uh, with Townstar, um, and I think that that. Uh, there's, I'm not going to give too much detail there, but it is really cool. And it is based on uh, the rarity of NFTs that you uh, decide to play in the game. And uh, that rarity is based on uh, real on-chain rarity, so scarcity. The things that have the, the fewest uh, number that exist um, will be the best for you. You'll get the most uh, town. There's be, there'll be a new token, right? That's, yeah. that's probably a leak. It's going yeah. to be called Towncoin, I believe, right? It 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 well it, that that that's a big leak there. Yes, <laughs> that's a that's a big leak. Right now, everyone in Slack is probably watching this, going, "What are they doing? <laughs> My God!" <sighs> but yeah, there's 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 a really lot of cool stuff coming on. But definitely, you're also going to want a Vox. A Vox is uh is very important to your uh, long term abilities in that specific space. Moving on another, quickly, quickly. Another big leak there, hey? <laughs> yeah, no. So I, you know, I, I had, I would have some follow up questions, but it sounds like you don't want them right now. So maybe that's for a follow up uh, in our next session. We'll I'm, talk I'm watching your Discord that. right now. It's it's absolutely it's absolutely amazing. They're they're posting pictures of what big leaks look like. And yes, <laughs> mystical, uh, mystical Oaks, wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, that is about what that was. Yeah. Nice. All right, so so relative to spider tank which is the you know the uh the key topic for today could you give us an overview on on spider tank and you know yeah. where that is in process so, so and... it's it's actually spider tanks we haven't uh it was originally the spider tank project because we didn't know what to call it and it was this uh this project where we had all of these little spider tanks running around so we called it the spider tank project um, but the name that has uh, emerged from that is Spider Tanks. Uh, and that is a brawler, super, super fast paced brawler. Uh, and and I, I personally think of it a little bit as a light MOBA. It's not a fully fleshed out MOBA, but it is a uh, pretty awesome, fast paced, high octane brawler. Um, and uh, yeah, we're we're looking for a Q4 uh, release, as far as I know, and we are on target to hit that. But today, just for people who are here in the Whale Discord community, we will be dropping a link to allow people to download and play a uh, a beta version. Now, this beta version is very special because. Um, it's got a couple things. The first thing is that it uh, allows you to play with any any tank, any skin that you want, any weapons. Uh, so you you don't have to necessarily have the NFTs in order to be able to play with that specific tank or weapon like you will in the actual game. Uh, so that's the first. The second is that there is a special tank that has been created by the team at Game Media specifically for today. Um, and it is a whale shark tank. And it's amazing. And you guys are gonna love it, except it's actually just a normal shark, not a whale shark. Hey, yeah, there you go. So that. I, you know, as the chief league officer, I wonder if your community would <laughs> also like to be interested would be interested in seeing a bit of a leak about the next game that's going to be coming from game media they just agreed today i just literally signed the uh contract today for this particular game that these guys are building would you guys like to see a quick video of it absolutely so can i share yep yeah let's see share my screen Might be, oh, here we go. Oh, there we go.
There you go. Wow. I love oh, it. That there. Awesome. That, and I how's that for a leg? You know what? That was a uh, that was that was crazy. I think um, later on, maybe at the at the tail end of this, we should run that back. And uh, we'll make it full screen and we'll have you um, share it a different way so the audio is a direct feed because I think everyone wants to see that again for sure. Yeah, we can we can definitely get you that. How about uh, uh, Anita, if you're, the, the yeah, drop, drop it in the, uh, the Discord chat that we have and, and let's let them port it through. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. A little, a little uh, explanation or a little extrapolation on that, please. Well, it's uh, li li like like uh, Eric said, he literally signed this just this morning. We've been uh, working on exactly what it would take to get that over the line. And uh, that just happened today. But to me, like that's that's my style of game. I, I grew up, you know, playing a lot of, uh, you know, Mech Warrior and, and things like that. I'm a big fan of big walkie robot things with guns. Um, you know what it's a sign yeah. of really is the maturity of the blockchain game space. I mean, we've been pushing for this for the last two years, but we've convinced this, this group that they should go publish their game through us because not only is it um, going to be more profitable in so many other ways, but it's more in alignment with the, the fundamental game uh, design philosophies that um, any really good game uh, designer and developer adheres to. Like what, you know, nobody, nobody really likes to develop free to play games because eventually you have to create a paywall and that just kind of sucks. But, you know, that's, so, so now that we're getting AAA game development coming to the blockchain, this is a game changer as far as I'm concerned. It's fundamentally going to be changing the stakes, right? It's not going to be, you know, just throw up any old thing and, you know, somebody will buy it. It's going to be, you know, the, the big game developers are going to be coming in and, and really offering up, you know, exponentially more powerful and interesting experiences than we've seen so far in the blockchain. Well, what do you guys think? Should we uh, should we drop a link for the people to to try playing some uh, Shark Tanks? Definitely. Does that sound like Does that sound like fun? Let's go ahead and uh, you guys have that link. So, hey, Anissa on the spot. So I guess while people go. are while people are loading that up, I did have a bit of a question. I mean, the spider tanks, uh, are they spiders? Are they tanks? Like, how, how did you come up with the idea to merge the two of them together? So, I mean, spiders are cool. Arachnids, just in general, are really neat. And I think that if you look at uh, the, the spiders exist the way that they are for a reason. They're amazing all-terrain creatures, right? They can go up walls, they can go all, all over all sorts of obstacles that you simply couldn't go over uh, on wheels. Um, or if you're getting really crazy, you know, and you have like, uh, you know, different gravitational constraints, you know, maybe you wouldn't even be able to in a normal tracked vehicle. And so spider tanks, it, it works, it's cool. Plus, you know, as you guys will see, it's uh, it's pretty creative. I'm I'm with you on the uh, on the loving getting inside of a mech and running around thing. So oh, yeah. even even without knowing that this was a play to earn game, I was all about it when I saw it because not only um, does it provide that, but it does it in an accessible way. You know, too yeah. too many times these these uh, play to earn games have these high barrier to entries, and as much as I do love some of the oh. more in-depth stuff being built. Um, I don't want to be playing Excel spreadsheets online, right? Like I want to sit down right. and have and have fun. So you guys have a great marriage here of accessibility, and you can jump in and have fun. And then there's the layered stuff on top of it. So while people would you guys, are, go uh, ahead, I was just going to say, would you guys like to to hear a little bit more about how Play to Earn works? No, that's exactly what I was going to ask. So while people are downloading and installing um, this build, if you could tell us a little bit about <laughs> you know the Play to Earn mechanics and and the sure. rarity effects and how that all plays a role. Sure. So, so basically, the way that we're looking at this is is we've looked at the way that that, that quote unquote play to earn models work um, right now in the space, and it feels like a bad experience for for the player. 
Okay. Now, if you're a person who, you know, owns a bunch of assets or something like that, yeah, it's, it's a pretty okay experience for you. You got some management to do, you know, you've got some, you know, sending of codes to people so that they can log in and, you know, click all day long on your game. Um, but it's not a fun experience. The games aren't really gamey, right? So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a way where you could have an experience that would, at a, at a very fundamental level, be a play-to-earn experience, but that wouldn't require all of the... Uh, all of the friction that we see in other models. And so this is where this came from. And so the way that Spider Tanks is going to work is you can own a tank, okay? So let's say for a moment that, uh, you know, you didn't necessarily want to play the game, but you did want to own a tank. So you could go and you could buy, uh, you know, a tank and you could equip that tank, pick a skin for it that you've purchased to make it super attractive to other people or, you know, whatnot, um, put some cool weapons on it, get it all configured the way that you want to configure it. And then you could go ahead and post that tank in sort of a pool, you could think of it as, you know, a gigantic vehicle pool that then a free to play, play to earn player, okay, who doesn't own a tank, they don't have the ability to purchase a tank, could step in and join the game and click on your tank in the pool and automatically be able to use your tank, play with your tank, <coughs> excuse me, play with your tank in the game, um, potentially win the game, you know, pick up some additional parts, which will be used for upgrades, pick up some tank coin, all of that. Um, at which point in time, you know, when the match is done, that tank goes back to the pool. The token is never transferred, so there's never any risk that you're going to lose it. Um, and you guys split whatever the takings are from that event. So by having a tank and configuring it, taking the time to configure it for people to play with, um, people will be able to potentially go and play and a, a completely free to them, earn something for them, earn something to, to you, okay? Um, or earn something for yourself. And so essentially the cooler tank you have, the more people are going to want to play with that tank. Um, the better your weapons are, the more people are going to want to play with that tank. The more upgraded it is, the more people are going to want to play with that tank, which is why when we list something, you know, previously we did the chicken tanks. Um, uh, when we when we list something like that, um, you know, each of those levels represents perfect upgrades up until a certain point in time. And that's a very, very difficult thing to do. Oh, I'm seeing some people posting screenshots now. Love it. Um, you know, so so having those better tanks, they have the ability for people to win more, potentially uh, compete at a higher level, potentially earn more. And that works out really, really well uh, for everybody involved. And it doesn't require these potentially exploitative uh, relationships where, you know, you have to like people, quote unquote, work for you. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Very cool. And and if I understand this correctly, it goes into a pool so, you know, people can't choose who uses what tank. It's just available. The 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 current so there's there's uh current state and future state, okay? Um current state is it goes into a pool and when you sign up, you, you know, are using that like whatever tank pops up and that's the one that you're using. In future state, there will be the ability for you to specify by name who gets to use your tank. So, for example, let's say you have uh, an esports league that you sponsor and you want them all to use these amazing legendary level uh, shark tanks that you've purchased. Um, and you want them in, you know, this specific skin that, you know, has been custom made just for you sort of thing. And so you would be able to say, okay, well, these are the 10 members. These are the 10 tanks that I'm using or whatever it happens to be. Um, and so you could do that. There's also going to eventually be the ability for you to go in and browse and select which tank you want to use. I love, I just love the way it looks. I mean, just look at that, guys. It's a the, shark. With the freaking the fins, laser beam on its head. Yeah, I the love fins that are I'm so choice. But I have that a shark with a freaking laser, and not just that, but you know, if lasers aren't good enough, you can sit there and have a rocket launcher, or you know, a repair gun, or a lava launcher. I mean, there you go. Nothing like a shark that fires hot lava. How's exactly. that, guys? 
So, so yeah, that's that's uh, the way that we're we we're looking at this, and so it is at a very very fundamental level redefining um, play to earn. Awesome, and so I would think that you know rarity kind of scales the the abilities of the the tanks as well, and so that's where that comes into play. Um, wait, sorry, say that again. Like the the rare are, there's rarity levels to the tanks, correct? Yes. Yes. Right. Right. Are. Right. Right. So that would help scale the the abilities. Yeah. But I think I read somewhere that, you know, even if you started at the base level through time and through upgrades, you can continue to you know um, get your tank to to those higher echelons of of ability. Right. Yes. Um, that's yeah, right. No, you, that's... You, you're you're going to be able to get the most basic tank and level it up. Um, the, we're, we're going to be able to release all the details on how that's going to work here really soon. I think we're we're still ironing out some of those details, but there's going to be it's going to be relatively difficult um, to get to the maxed out um, rarity levels. So you know that's a factor, right? Chicken tank. Very cool. Yeah. And, and is there, there's a token at play here as well? Yeah. Uh, tank coin is the, the coin that is used in, in game here. Okay. Um, but uh, you will be able to uh, do some other stuff with it as well. Very cool. So you Just, mentioned before you had uh, taken a look at Axie and that in developing uh, and, yeah. and the play to earn aspects of that in developing this. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there's quite an entry um, point in terms of price for something like that. I mean, you mentioned before that you've got this uh, pool mechanism where people can uh, borrow these tanks and kind of split that. Is there anything yeah. else you're, you're doing to create that entry level uh, point for people to be able to get in that are just starting? We we definitely want to we definitely want to serve the the guilds uh, to a certain extent because there's a tremendous number of people who who work very hard you know YGG and whatnot and so we do want to create management tools um, for them but in a way that is uh, very frictionless and equitable for everybody um, that's an that's a very important uh, thing for us. Um, and I think the, the idea that that you know we we are really trying to create an economy inside the game that is sustainable, and so it's going to be it's going to be important that there's there's various you know in game resources that are moving around from uh, you know owners of tanks and free players of of the game. Um, you know, if you look at something, you know, if you look at a, I mean, it's, it was pretty predictable, the the trajectory, I think, of what uh, Axie's token was going to do, just because, you know, the way that that economy was designed. So we're really trying to take that, um, that lesson to heart um, and, and really learn, you know, what we can from what, what we witnessed there. So, you know, I think that Owners of tanks are going to be playing a very important role in ensuring that anyone can come and play the game. Um, and, you know, we're going to want to reward those people, you know, for, you know, being that person who makes the game, who makes the economy available to other people, you know, in, right. in much the same way that we reward the node owners um, in our ecosystem for hosting and helping us you know, with our IPFS network and with other, you know, in-game in um, functionality that's in development, um, we think of the owners of tanks in, in a similar sort of way. They're, they're making sure that everybody can play. Yeah. Um, not everyone wants to, wants to be a gamer, but some people want to be, you know, a part of the ecosystem. That sounds like you guys have uh, got that part nailed down then, uh, trying to make that frictionless for people and get in there with that low barrier of entry. Uh, I uh, can see some great things coming. I, I think so too. We're really excited. This is something that we're extremely passionate about and we've spent a tremendous amount of time uh, working on. So, 
Someone was asking if they could stream this today. And I think, yes, right? We're okay with them streaming. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Please stream. Absolutely stream. Actually, Eric, can we get can we get a, uh, a common common shark tank to give out to a uh, random streamer? Yeah, absolutely. We do that. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So, hey, um, this is what I want you guys to do. If you're streaming uh, and if you could post a link to it on Twitter, tag at GoGalaGames and uh, do hashtag whale shark tank. And uh, I will I will pick somebody from that and we'll get you a uh, code that will allow you to redeem that for a uh, common shark tank. I think maybe we only go to uncommon. I don't know. Whatever. You'll get a shark tank. While you guys were talking, I, I played a match. It was uh, the f turns out the uh, flamethrower is pretty OP, guys. The flamethrower is pretty pretty badass. You know, yeah, combine that with, the, with you know the stealth um, power up, and you got a pretty gnarly uh, combo there. He's walking up and making barbecued shark. Oh yeah. Do we want to jump in and and play some while we round out some questions for the rest of this? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Justin, are you are you uh, able to get a connection for a game? You know, we need to get, I think, some Oceana servers spun up. Yeah, for sure. I think it's hard for... He is in Australia. I'll load up mine as well, but... Uh... Caveat being, we don't we don't game quite as frequently, probably as much of the community. So, um, feel free <laughs> feel free to razz us in the chat. I probably won't yeah. see it till afterwards. I'll try to ignore it. And uh, I know our resident gaming experts like Gian and um, Lang will will probably be in there showing no mercy. Yeah. Right, while you try to load up, um, Justin, I'll get in as well. All right. And I would love to hear some uh, more game developers say, let's fire up some oceanic servers. I feel like there's this whole market over this direction that uh, just misses out on the low latency and things that people elsewhere get to experience. Yeah, I, I used to play, when I lived in Southeast Asia, I used to play PUBG with my brother and a couple of friends back in the United States. And I'd always have a ping of like 350. And they would always make fun of me. They'd be like, dude, you suck. You're just so bad. And then once I finally moved back to North America, they're like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess you're okay then. Yeah. I've never been good, but I, I got to okay. Yeah, I've always had to pick the, uh, the class of character that's not a critical role that you can kind of stand back and it doesn't matter which direction you're hitting as much. So, right. You know, things like World of Warcraft, the hunter and that sort of thing, never a priest or a tank. So. Yeah. You guys in? Carrie, if you're uh, if you're listening, which I think you probably are, please note uh, and remind me about the uh, whale shark tank thing. I don't want to uh, forget that. I guess I'll jump in too. So where are you guys on, you know, the process as far as balancing and, um, you know, working through the kind of the weapon powers and whatnot? Well, that's actually one of the things that these tests are very important for is that they, they allow people to, you know, they allow the developers to collect that kind of data. And mm -hmm. the more people we have playing, the better it is. I'm realizing just how powerful the flamethrower is. Thank you, Kerry. You rock. Appreciate it. I don't have Slack on any of my three screens right now. So I did play a bit um, during the public uh, playtesting over the past couple of days. Ah, and you enjoy that? I did, and the the flamethrower is is pretty powerful, but you do have to be up close. So if you know someone's good at something that they could kite you with, or you know get some distance and do some damage. It can be uh, it can be countered. At least that's my opinion. In you know a few hours of playing. Hold on, I have to turn down my master volume in this game because wow, it was a little a little high. Okay, now I can actually hear you guys. 
Yeah. I just mentioned that um, although the flamethrower was very strong, you know, you have to be close. So if you're good with something that you could kite a little bit, I found that you could stand a chance against the flamethrowers. Oh, shit. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I got old man Smithers here. He is he's going to take me down. Well, I got free in mine. I have desktop three IG. For you, Smithers. Oh, got me. I'm going to jump over to Discord and see. Uh... I have our, our junior staff Man. writer here. That shark tank is, I, I have a chicken tank, and I just got completely, you know, toasted. You know, some people, I've, I've seen in the Discord, some people are a little bit concerned about, you know, a pay to win scenario, but man, I gotta say, like, just because you have the most well, I, legendary I mean, tank doesn't mean you like, can actually win. No, but I mean, I think another another thing that you gotta keep in mind is like, you know, nobody complains about the Olympics being pay to win. Yeah. That's true. And and the Olympics is totally. I mean, there's yes, tons of skill involved, but you know. Even just something as simple as running shoes, massively, massively, insanely expensive. Um, I'm not Smithers. It's not fair because I'm talking and you're going to murder me again. Oh, terrible. But yeah. So, so it, it it at a competitive level. I mean, it's just like having the best gaming rig or having the best internet connection or something like that. Like. There's always going to be some element of that. I'm getting absolutely murdered here. This is the worst. I find the dots to be pretty effective. Yeah, what actually I haven't played with any damage over time. What is that uh is the flamethrower a dot? I think it is, and so is lava. A typo, that's a bad spot. So I've played kind of um you know the team team deathmatch. I've also played the uh the chicken one and the hold the flag. Are there any other game types? I think those are the the three that are in there right now. There will be other games. Well there's types those kill you know. there's just straight up kill the other team, right? <laughs> What's the um the max team? Team numbers five versus five or three versus right. three. And it's three versus three right now, um, but we're definitely there. Will definitely be larger ones in the future. Yeah, we've actually had had some ideas around some rather large, you know, battle royale type scenarios. Yeah, I like I would, the way I the shark moves. That. The animation is very cool. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's just absolutely gorgeous. It looks like he's swimming. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got Old Man Smithers in mind. HTPC, is that one of you guys? Would you please end Old Man Smithers for me? Oh, and Old Man Smithers, again, if you're listening, yes. We can do that thing. I would love to see, Rune says in your Discord, I'd love to see a 50v50 massive map. I would love that. That'd be super fun. Like just the sheer amount of explodies that would be happening, and the chaos in that. So, how many how many maps um, are there now, and how many do you plan to have at launch? Um, I'm honestly not sure how many there are. Um, I think four or five, I, I believe. Yeah, um, in fact, did we talk about how the maps are going to work as part of the play to earn? Component? No, don't don't leak that much yet. Nice. Don't, don't leak it. You can't. They're gonna get so angry. That's a that's a that's a good one. You're like, I do what I want. You can't stop me. <laughs> I think I did see that alluded to somewhere, whether on your Discord or one of the medium posts. We it's it's been mentioned. I've mentioned it a couple times. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, if you if you want to leak, I'll just I guess sit here and pretend I didn't hear it. Oh, we, you know, every, I think everyone really likes the idea of owning a piece of the world, right? Yeah. You can actually see it in there. It's not exactly a link. I'm playing yeah, I guess it's true. It's in, the, it's in the damn map. And it says for sale. 
Yeah, right. Just just uh just up above you, Nightmare, after you finish getting killed by that angry flea. There you go. Get yourself a dragon. I don't think this game these my, my opponents are actually know that you're supposed to get the chickens in the barrel. <laughs> It's okay. It'll be an easy win for you then. So, so have yeah, you got plans I, to uh, expand on these game modes as well? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Some more quirky catch the chicken type, or, or uh, oh, we we love stuff like that. Is there an over map of sorts? Um, we've actually we've actually been talking to the team about that. Yeah. Uh, it, whoever these guys them. are for game media are destroying me. I need it to stay away. Oh well, that yeah, you're a little you're a little bit screwed there. Those uh, those are the actual developers. So okay, makes sense. It is unfortunate for you. Yeah, but with all of our our games, you know, there's going to be a coin. There's going to be NFTs. Yeah. Oh, so close. Coin. Some kind of land component, buildings, that kind of thing. Now, uh, will there be any um, interoperability of the NFT assets from game to game? So that's, that's you know, we try to do that in the games that we make ourselves. And we encourage game developers who are joining the platform to facilitate that. But it's really up to them at the end of the day. And I think it people are going to realize that it makes a lot of sense to do that because, you know, you're going to get a lot of uh, gamers coming over because now their NFTs are usable in your game. But it's not something, you know, we, we, we really uh, embrace, you know, freedom in as many different ways as we, we can possibly deliver it. And so we're not going to, we're not going to force anybody to do anything. Right. Man, I'm looking with, with the recent uh, with the recent changes in uh, the value of Gala according to the market. Things are a little crazy right now in terms of what you can get in the store. You can get an ancient glow lava tank for only a hundred thousand one hundred eighty nine point nine two five Gala. That's crazy. Maybe I will change my build. Any recommendations from you guys? I'm not that good, so I've been going heavy, but if you want to persuade me, I'll try something else. I, you know, it, originally the, the shotgun and shield combo was was mega OP. Um, it seems like that got nerfed just a smidge. I like the, um, the full-on chicken with um, a shield and a machine gun turret. Yeah, the machine gun turrets is super nice. Now I've seen um, a fast getting like a scout with um, a cloak and the flamethrower, so like you can run in really quick and throw throw on your um, your cloaking, um, and then just hit them with the flames. Um, that's been working pretty good. But just checking on uh, on things here. I could see you could be a uh, a healer as well, right? Yep. Um, missed this, but any chance for skin customizations? It would be awesome to attach a whale logo PNG or something like that and have it be my tank skin. I think that that's a really cool idea. Um, I, I'm guessing that skin customizations will probably first start for like actual serious uh, esports organizations. Will probably have uh, very limited edition skins just for uh, competition purposes and things like that. Um, you know, I think that that would be something very cool. Uh, Jason, that's that's you tipped to, to pretty close to a leak there. No, I didn't. I didn't. I was really careful. Esports leagues. I mean, I was, I was, I was careful. I didn't, I didn't tell them anything. There's esports leagues. That's a thing. 
That is a thing, right? In other games. It's a thing in other games. It doesn't have to be in this. Unless you wanted a skin for it for some reason. I don't know. Interesting. Gosh, it's so hard. There's so much so going many on. Things, so many things I can't say. Like, seriously, I, I, every day people are like, oh, what thing are you working on today? I'm like, oh, I can't tell you. Sorry. Some people had asked what engine this is built on. I don't That's actually know that question. question. <laughs> don't know. I, I know a lot of it's custom. Yeah. Rune will send you the NDA. You'll be good. Uh, obviously, at the moment, it's uh, limited to the PC version that's being tried, and you're uh, planning on on having that for Mac in the future. Oh yeah, it'll de definitely. It's just that that when you do these sorts of tests, um, specifically for balancing, uh, your PC is is pretty much the flavor of choice. Yeah. Uh, and what about uh, expansion, expanding that to uh, handheld devices, tablets, Android, uh, iPhone? Um, I think Android is is probably a thing that will will happen. Um, whether or not it ends up on uh, Apple devices is another question entirely. You know, didn't somebody reveal in our Discord that they played the game on a tablet? Yeah, no, it's playable on a tablet, but I think it was like a, a Windows tablet or something like that. I'm not the touch, sure. The, the touch it was, it was controls were already enabled. Yeah, the touchscreen controls are already there, though. So that's that's a cool thing. Yeah, we're ready whenever Apple is ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That can be a challenge. Yeah, I know. Gemini made, made a good point. Um, we are pay, paying very close attention to that. So... They, they may have to allow it. Oaks is anyway. embarrassing me right now. <laughs> you got to get your uh, your gun out, your machine gun out. Does that turret sit on your... On your tank, or does it go no, on the you ground? No, you have to deploy it. Deploy well, it. I know, but when you do, does it sit on the ground on a location yeah. or on your tank? Yeah, it sits on the ground. It, it, it sits okay. on the ground. Yeah, try try deploying not, it. This not time. like that. <laughs> you're 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 gonna be able to deploy it in like one second. Like right now, you can deploy. I'm such a noob. It's okay. I'm not even trying right now. Oh, nice number there on the kill score. Yes. Hey, I tried a new build, all right? Justin, I'd like to see you get I, in here. I have never played as a chicken before, so uh, I, I admit I have no idea what playing as a chicken's like, so perhaps that was the best chicken. Knowing my uh, propensity to run into conflict headfirst is why I typically go heavy. As my um, gaming friends have always advised me, just give him some deeps. Don't give him responsibility for keeping anyone up. And be yeah. careful. Be careful what he pulls. Is typically I, what they say for me. I always tank. I, I lead with my face. We have a we have a D and D uh, group in our in our company, and we play every other week. And I am not configured to be a tank, and yet I constantly tank. It's just what I do. Oh, I'm playing. I'm playing with you, uh, Nightmare. We're in the same game. Nice. Oh, let's see who's who is going to win. I'm I'm interested here. I love the submarines. Must have been a dot. Okay.
If um, you kill someone holding chickens, do the chickens drop? Yep. Yeah, So the trailer that you showed before, I mean, clearly it showed that there was, you know, some spider looking tanks in there. Is there going to be uh, cross-platform compatibility with with that or is that a, its own? That's a very interesting question. I think that parts of it would make sense. Although I think that the way that it would work within any any other game might be slightly different. So for example, you might have a weapon here and in this game it takes up you know it's essentially your turret right but in that game it might be a smaller add-on that you could use something like that Who won? Nightmare's team. I got max deaths, so that counts for something. <laughs> if you well, guys would like, we could uh, we could focus wow. your your streams, uh, your game instead of mine. Oh no 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 no! I I suck at this. I don't play because it's it's just embarrassing. My inclination my now is the. My inclination is to go back to heavy, but you know, for the for the viewers, for the community, do, that's why I'm trying the, these other ones. Go ahead and do the uh, the the shark body chicken head. It can be chicken of the sea. Nice. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty interesting combo. And then go pick a different skin, man. Come on, let's get creative here. Go use the no 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 gold. Next one over. Next one over. Do the gold skin. This one. That. Yeah. There is only one of those in existence. Okay. So, so there will only ever be in the entire game one person who has a gold skin. Now, because we're allowing everything today, anyone would be able to use it. But that one skin is in the store. It makes everything that you use uh, gold. Um, and it uh, will, once it gets to the point where people are able to select uh, your, your um, select tanks uh, in the, the, play to earn model, uh, having a gold skin, I think would uh, really attract attention and get uh, some of those top tier players on board for you. Oh, wow. You're right. Yeah. So a whole new, uh, a whole new kind of incentive. Well, yeah, because skins, people often look at skins and like, they're like, okay, well, what do I need a skin for? It doesn't do anything. Well, no, it does. It makes it look cool and it is supposed to be attractive. The problem is, is that most of the time when you have skins, it doesn't matter because you can't actually do anything with them. In this case, you actually can. Well, you know, there's there, and the cool thing about this too is this is going to be a two-way street, right? So, I I actually own an ancient uh, level uh, legendary chicken. Um, so I'm going to want the very best player out there playing my chicken and. Hopefully, because I've invested, you know, in my chicken, they're, I'm going to be able to attract the very best players because, you know, hopefully the combo of, you know, an ancient chicken and the best player earns the most coin and other NFTs in the game. So, you, you know, being a really good player is going to matter, um, just like being able to own one of these, you know, really rare, you know, NFTs. I have the uh, the whale shark steampunk top hat goggles combo going with it as well now. Oh, nice! I am partial to the lightning though. I thought that looked really sweet on the shark, but let's check the gold. So I can just be a bigger target. There you I go. I like that uh, purple hexagon pattern that it was before. I'm not sure what that one was called. That was pretty neat. I like that one as well. Um, what is it called? That's actually called something. I'll tell you what it's called. That is 
Gridlock is what it's called. So the skins are still purely aesthetics or are there going to be some uh, traits that it'll affect? Um, in terms of how it works in game, I think it's probably at this point in time going to be aesthetics. I don't want to make a commitment that it will be more um, because I think that that's, uh, well, I'm, I'm just not 100% sure how it would work. But yeah, these are these are some pretty cool things. And I keep refreshing because uh, the actual store, I'm dropping it in your Discord. That's the actual store for the Spider Tank project. I'm just waiting for the new tanks to make it in there. Should be coming here shortly. They're saying 15 minutes tops until uh, this goes in there. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to uh, pwn this noob here, or answer his question rather, how will the play to earn economics work? Um, I don't want to go into too terribly much detail, um, but there's a, few, there's a few different things that have been released that I will just kind of talk around a little bit. So essentially the first, uh, the first main component here is that you as an owner of a tank can have other people use your tank, okay? And it will be a very slick, frictionless process. Um, and then when they do that, and based on what they win, based on where they're fighting, based on the other pieces that are on the land, there's a few other very- Based on the here. level of the land, right? Based on the level of the land, the level of the tank, et cetera, there will be, there will be the ability to, based on your gameplay, earn something or based on the gameplay of the person who's using the tank. Now you can own this tank. Somebody else will be able to use it and it does not, uh, you, you're not required um, to like send them the token or to do some sort of elaborate login thing or anything like that. Um, so it should be a very, very smooth, uh, smooth process. Um, and so that's essentially how it goes. Then you can turn around and you can take that tank coin you can convert it to Gala if you'd like, or you can uh, use it to upgrade your land or upgrade your tanks. Um, you will be able to get uh, parts and things like that, which will also be dropped during gameplay, which can be used for upgrades as well. Um, so it's pretty, uh, it's it's pretty cool. And so you mentioned the tank coin is for upgrading the tanks and the land. Well, it's for up, yeah, upgrading tanks and land. There's other going to be other things that you can do with it. There will uh, likely be a little bit of a game fi mechanism attached to it. Um, it's a bit of buy other tanks using it, that type of thing. Yeah, it's a pretty deep economy. Yeah. Uh, did we cover custodial wallets versus non custodial wallets for assets and tokens? Um, well, we don't have custodial wallets, nor will we have custodial wallets. Um, we want you, like we very strongly believe that you should always have access uh, to your stuff and that we shouldn't be able to cut that off. So when you set up a wallet, you can access that wallet uh, however you like, whenever you like, you could plug it into you know, MetaMask and, and access it that way. It has nothing to do with us. So you know, I would definitely, I would definitely consider uh, that a critical thing for us. You know, I'm, I'm looking at uh, the comments in the uh, stream here, and uh, one of them is interesting, I think, which is uh, Dean Nellix, I think, is, is commenting on our, Ooh, our nice. model. And, um, you know, I appreciate that, that sentiment, but, I, you know, in all humility, we're just trying to figure this, this out, right? So, yeah. You know, we don't know exactly how it's going to work the best, um, but you know, there's the only way that you can is by trying, right? There's and there's examples of of things that aren't working that are clear, right? That, that you yeah, can avoid. And you know, we have a lot of experience in the company developing in-game economies. This is something that we did 
you know, at Zynga, and we have people from EA, we have people from all, all over the different the spectrum of game developers. And runaway economies are a really difficult challenge for most games. And yep. so it's no different in a, uh, a blockchain game. Um, you know, I think what one of the things that really excites me about it, though, is that, you know, with finite, you know, tokens, you're you're really challenged to think through these questions. Um, yep. And so, you know, hopefully we'll get it right. I'm 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 assuming we're not going to get it right the first couple times we try. But. Oh, there's definitely always going to be work. That's why we're hiring economists. If you know anyone, let us yes. know. We're hiring almost everything. We're hiring economists. We're hiring, uh, you know, if we have some interesting game theorists that we could definitely uh, work with. Um, I think that uh, we're also obviously in dire need of more developers. Uh, so if you go to gala.games forward slash careers, I believe is the link, or just go to gala.games and scroll down to the bottom. There's a list of things that we're looking for. So uh, we need people. We started we started this year with, with what, tw 20 people, Eric? Oh, gosh. Does that sound right? Yeah, like maybe, yeah. And we're okay, almost actually, 90 now. Let me, let me answer this person's question. They want to know if Tank Coin is going to be distributed to Founder Nodes. That's an easy one. That's a yes, 100%. Yeah. There you go. And they want to know when Tank Coin. Um, Foon is that is that the correct response? Foon. <laughs> Foon. There you go, Chair Bandit. Yeah, and by Foon, I mean I mean really, it's really coming. Really um, Foon. Really, really Foon. Really Foon. Um, <laughs> probably November is my guess. Right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, the sale of the whale shark tank, also Thune, but a lot thooner than than Tank Coin. They're telling me, uh, well, they told me six minutes ago, ten to fifteen minutes. So, so I, I just went and minted some of my gala that I that I uh, earned on my nodes and. I just want to say to everybody out there who is like having problems minting with us, it's not on purpose. No, we're not trying to stop, uh, you know, a thousand gala from entering the market. It's just, you know, we, we, we focus on making games and sometimes the Ethereum network is challenging. So yeah, ultimately like I, they are digging into that problem and they think it has to do with the fee estimation and the fact that it's bouncing all over the place. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. It's but we have it. We, with the team is on it, you know, send it, send in a ticket, but you know, get your, get your gala ready for the uh, shark tank. I'm going, I'm going all in. You're, you're ready. Have, I have to have the best one. Have to have it. Even though it's going to, I'm going to regret it later. Like I did with the chicken tank, man. That's a $200,000 chicken tank. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is. I understand. I understand. Actually, what does that? And, and you know, speaking of the economy, what does that do? You know, when 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 someone when someone like me is sitting on a, a chicken tank that I think is worth two hundred thousand dollars, but other people don't think that, that creates a weird economic like. It's weird, right? Right. Yeah. Very, it's it's very strange. I I am loving it though. Oh, we're in a race. So, COTB and I are going to race to see who gets the first one. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I didn't mind that light uh, that light tank. You move fast, right? Yeah, it got in and out pretty quick. So I have to ask. Um, for you guys, of all your your different games that you're playing, what do you find you're spending most of your time on right now? Obviously, that kind of rotates, just like I do with takeout food, right? But right now, what are you playing the most? Games? I don't have time to play games anymore. I Although, hear you with that, that small time you do. What would I it got, be? I got I got one for you. I've been playing a lot of humanity. 
human wait is it humanity no, or humankind. Is it humankind i always call it humanity we, humankind. we keep going back and forth on what no the it's, f it's, that's supposed to be it's called. actually called humankind i have for some reason call it humanity um that's going to be one of the games that i'm really wanting to to develop for the network yeah ga games like that for sure but it has to be it has to be persistent you know what i mean like like uh, right. our um, Echoes of Empire will probably come close to that. You have that kind of like persistent uh, yep. 4X in space kind of a thing. And I want a Shark Tank. I'm, I'm really like, I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve constantly like opening my eyes and peeking out of my bedroom door to see if Santa's here. Yeah, look, that's uh, Telia Gillum. Teal Gillum, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Had the had that something went wrong error. Yeah, we got a guy's working on it right now. Um, I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, it's not it's not pleasant. So I'm not I I haven't played Humankind. That's turn based, right? Yeah. Did you ever play yeah. Civ or Civ Six or anything like that? Yep. It's it's similar and it, you know, but different, but similar Justin any requests since unfortunately you can't connect and play something I, I did want to give the uh, the little hover one a try the, the one just next to the chicken tank uh, this one so, yeah oh there you go and how about for the uh, the weapon oh Ooh. you should go uh with the fire flamethrower oh the, the the lava one i love lava uh up middle second row justin yeah go. that that looks pretty badass a dps uh, is pretty high yeah and i i like the dot quite honestly because i i can't always chase um and now about crypto, stash. crypto stash is here uh you can find the link in um can i Post a comment here? No, I can't. Uh, if you go to the uh, whale Discord, they're posting the link. Or actually, hold on. I think. Justin, you have a request on the skin. Uh, the gold is just so pretty. So yeah, sweet. I think think gold. And uh, instead of that Viking hat, there was a a police light. Just to sit there and uh, you know. Take take control of that situation in style. There you go. What's the um? Is there a third ability slot you have to earn, or what? What's up with that one? Um, I've been able to define that in some of the things. Maybe that depends on the body you're using. Oh, okay. I'm not entirely sure, though. To be completely honest. Any uh, weapon requests, Justin? Uh, uh Oh, wasn't that with the lava? I'm sorry, ability. Uh, ability. Uh, I didn't actually get that far before. Let me have a look now. Well, it's got some speed. So I reckon the uh, the speed booster and the uh, machine gun turret. You want the speed added to it? Okay. I like you how you think. If you cross that screen, you, you can sit there and strafe out of the way of anything that's coming your way. So you mentioned before about the uh, the transaction fees and being volatile, causing some issues. Is the um, Gala node is that a layer two to Ethereum, or is that running something no, on no, Ethereum? No, no, no. So, so right now it's running on Ethereum, which is is not something that uh, we particularly like. Um, it's just kind of where we started. We're in the process of building out Gala Chain right now. Um, which is going to, you know, change uh, a lot of this um, and will not have the same sort of ridiculous fee structure. It will not be sort of an arbitrary proof of work uh, situation. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that.
Yeah, right now the nodes are running IPFS, um, so we can pin content to that. Uh, they're they're going to be doing um, game specific workloads, you know. So in the case of something like spider tanks, um, the nodes will host servers. Uh, eventually, we're working on that tech right now. The whole idea is that the node network becomes a you know decentralized distributed AWS. So if I became a uh, node operator, I'd be able to operate a, a shark tanks. Uh, oh. A um, spider tank server m myself as well. Yeah, eventually. Well, that, that would be a game specific node for spider tanks, um, which is going to be something that's going to be uh, released here in the future. But running just a founder's node would definitely give you access to a lot of different uh, things. Let's see. Oh, come on. I want a shark. It's killing me. Still not thin enough. Not soon enough. All right, my my battery and my mouse went, so I can't aim. But I'm still oh, here no. in spirit. I'm still here in spirit, protecting the flag. Uh, see, this is why I love my cabled mouse. Never have to worry about a battery dying mid strafe. Sad. Fortunately, my teammates are holding up, and we're actually up against a couple of the whale community members, Tai Po and Ja Pineapple. Ja Pineapple, little, ja Pineapple uh, says that he is streaming as well, so don't ah, embarrass him on his stream. No wonder he gunned straight for me right out the gate. I'll remember that, Ja Pineapple. It's got quite a bit of uh, speed there in that one now. See, that was my goal to put a two in each column. I thought that would be yeah, challenging. Nice and even. Yeah. Old man Smithers is not so old, it seems. <laughs> yes, carried us. Thank you, old man Smithers. So how long will this, um, this beta be open for people to try? I believe we're going to leave this up for a couple days. Awesome. Uh, so people will be able to jump in. Um, we want as many people to play. Like, seriously, help, uh, help us by getting your friends into the game. Uh, because the more data we have, the better we can make the tuning. Um, should, we, uh, should we release this link in the Gala Discord so they can jump in? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of them are. Um, we, we, we cool with that, guys? Uh, we will, uh, yeah, yeah. The more, totally the merrier. The more, the merrier. Right now, I think your your community has been able to to jump in. I see a few, and that was good because I'm sure you got your yours is very uh, robust and uh, experienced with the game. So we gave our guys a little bit of a grounding, right? So the slaughter will commence now, but we have <laughs> some hope. I'll get that posted right now. How many so this, people uh, to, to the whale community? You guys, what was uh, that? You guys have a sense on how many people migrated over to uh, your Discord? You have a. I don't offhand, but I'll tell you the floodgate started uh, yesterday, and it was a constant influx. So we'll take a look at the numbers. I'm sure after this, but I think it's significant. Oh, that's um, good. And some great dialogue too. Some people came in and said, "Hey, I, you oh, know, I was vague. yeah, they were like, I was vaguely familiar with whale, but then I got you know just caught into the rabbit hole of of gaming and been at Gala since, and I'm glad to be back here. So some discussion happened about NFTs, and obviously we have a lot of, you know, um, OG assets even from the gaming perspective in our vault. So some great conversation and some great stuff going forward, I'm sure. I think there's a lot of synergy there. I think yeah, our, our sure. users could, could really learn a lot over on your Discord. And vice versa, for sure. Mm. So this uh, gold 
one of one skin that you mentioning before that we all get a little sample yeah. of at the moment. That's uh, something that someone's purchased already, or it's getting no. It's off, it's or? currently still uh, currently still available. It is um, it is not uh, it is not cheap, but it is like the premium prestige uh, piece. Well, I mean, a, a tank made of solid gold. Uh, I can't imagine that's going to be cheap. No, it, it, it isn't. But uh, I think it's uh, something that people would really enjoy in the long run. I think it's one of those things that you have that, especially for the streamers, that uh, you've got that special unique thing that only you can have and only you own. And, and yep. that's, you know, provable through the, the blockchain. Yep, exactly. And that's, you know, it, it's going to bring extra views and that to your channel just on that alone. Yeah. It's like, I mean, how many people can say that, you know, when they're streaming that they have the gold tank? Imagine what that would be like if you had, you know, a one of one mount in uh, World of Warcraft, things like exactly. that. That's the promise of this, of this whole thing, really, is that yeah. you could actually legitimately have something that nobody else actually can have. Yeah, and I think you guys yeah. touched on not not only is it a, a dope flex to be able to have that gold and trot it out, but also from a play to earn perspective, you know, you're gonna draw the most eyeballs and probably, you know, the most plays with it. So um it just makes sense if you have a top tier tank. Yeah, that's that's yeah, super You cool. know, what I what I'm really excited about this is that I used to love Mech Warrior and and pretty much the whole battle tech um lore. And, and, and all the stories behind it. And so what I'm hoping happens here is that we have pilots and we have owners that, and there's a really interesting dynamic that, that happens between them. You know, you have people who are coming out of the Philippines who are just absolutely just totally, you know, epic in their skill set, And then you have, you know, maybe someone coming from the United States who's got, you know, got the funds to basically back them, be their patron, you know? Yeah, I, I love it. And the way that this, that this works uh, is that it's, it's a much smoother experience. You know, that concept of patronage is a much smoother experience. There's not like this weird, you know, you have to wait 30 days to claim and then hope that somebody sends it to you thing. Um, you know, that, that's completely removed, which I think is super important. You guys have an awesome community. I'm really in, uh, enjoying hanging out here and watching. We only got a few more minutes, guys. What are we gonna do? We should uh, we should probably zip this up here. Time flies when you're having fun. It does. Well, I mean, I was hoping you guys could keep this thing going until Travis gets the tanks live. I would like that, right? Where where are we with that? It says he's working feverishly on it. Yeah, Kerry says may not make it during the AMA. Hit a wee snag. Just a wee snag. Well, you guys could give us an update and we could announce it in the Discord once it's live, right? Yeah, I think that we could probably do that and get it get it pushed out to uh to everywhere. But I just it makes me sad because I have to be in other meetings and I won't be able to sit here just refreshing the, the page, trying to get a, a shark tank. Well, if you guys have a, a two o'clock, I'm sure you're, you're busy building and whatnot. Um, I can continue getting slaughtered here for the viewers to watch and you guys can dip <laughs> out any, uh, any, any parting words for the community that's just seeing this and seeing you guys for the first time. Well, you know, I'm, I'll just say that I'm, I'm really, really just happy to be able to share all of the stuff that we've been working on. We, we've been, you know, knowing about a lot of this stuff, but haven't been able to share it. We know how awesome it is, mm. but we can't really talk about it. And it's just really fun. And I'm just glad that we got to connect with you guys. Um, I've been watching your, your community for a while and just um, pleased with how you guys have been managing it and the community in general. And so, um, I'm happy. I'm just really happy that we're able to make this connection and, and show off a little bit what we've been working on. So thank you. Yeah, yeah I fully, fully back that. 
Yeah, likewise, you know, we're, we're really excited about it and, and uh, a lot of the cool stuff that's in store for the future going forward that, you know, we'll touch on at a later date, but great synergy. You guys are, are amazing at what you do. And um, thank you so much for, for sharing it with our community. I think, you know, there'll be a, a longer fruitful partnership. Um, I did want to ask because a lot of people have asked this during this, what's the timeline you guys are thinking for release? For this? Correct. Soon. We yeah. have we have a really epic launch that we're going to be doing in November. Oh gosh, it's really hard not to talk about it. But mm. Bitbender has has leaked a couple things uh, in this uh, in this AMA that uh, are relevant to what's going to go live in November. Mm. Um, so yeah, it should be really fun. Mm. Get your tanks. Go back and go back mm. and watch this to uh, find out those little pieces of chicken and combine them to to get the full chicken. Oh, I'm sure I'm leaf. sure somebody is going to start putting it together. Um but but yeah, e even it's so much cooler than I can even say, guys. I'm so looking forward to this. I want to I want to invite all of you guys who are listening, uh everyone from the whale community to also come and join our Discord as well at galagames.chat. You know, we're going to be working really hard with everybody at whale to make sure that uh, there's there's a, a regular series of these uh, meetings where we're all hanging out together and there's uh, there's some alpha for everybody. Uh, so we definitely, definitely want to uh, see you guys in there because there's a lot that we can all talk about together. All right, guys, I'm signing off. I had a lot of fun chatting. Sounds later. good. We'll, we'll look forward to the whale tank. Okay, we'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care, guys. Thank you. See you.